Okay, so if you followed me on Try Ups World, you'll know that I decided to take a break until the spring to try that again. So instead of just waiting and doing nothing, I figured I'd go and find myself a new little nature project to do. And I found Ant World. Now this just reminded me of when I was really little and I wanted Ant World so much, but my mum wouldn't let me have it because ants in the house and all that. So instead she actually got me the Worm World, which to be fair, I was very happy with. I don't think I've changed much since I was little. I've always been sort of obsessed with nature and big or small, it really interests me. So anyway, I got the Ant World and this video is unboxing it and setting it all up. When you first open it, you of course get a manual. I really need to read through this because I always forget to read through manuals and they do actually come in handy. Then you get parts of the tank that you have to put together and the sand, which will be the substrate. You also get a pipette because pipettes come with all of these sets and tubing and more of the tank. So I'm gonna now go and put that together. the substrate I've decided to mix eco earth with sand I do have some spare eco earth and I have read a few places that they do suggest mixing the sand with a type of soil and I guess eco earth is kind of a type of soil so that is what I did putting this together was definitely messy I don't know how young kids are meant to just be left to do this because I found it a bit of a challenge to be honest Um, when you're putting it together you have to have it in the stand because if you don't um, when you're filling it up with sand which is hard enough it gets into tiny tiny gaps and then you can't fix the tank back together again and then it starts leaking and it's just a mess so to be honest I had to do this twice to get this right but it's all good now I've got a tube down one side that goes into a mini tank which is also included and that has a little magnifying glass on the top then on the lid of this whole tank, it's quite small, it's a little square, there is a lid that you can take off and when I first saw it I actually thought that it just balanced on top of that, I was like that isn't very secure but you do have to give it a little bit of force and push it in there. It also comes on a stand and that is good because when they're making their like nests, I guess you call them, um, it's good not to move the tank too much in case the nest actually collapses and kills a queen because that is very very bad anyway I hope you found this video interesting and helpful make sure you tune in next episode because the queen actually arrives very important